Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be doing another hair tutorial. Finally, I hit the pause on hair tutorials because while salons were not open, all of us just, our hair was driving us crazy. But about two and a half weeks ago, I had a friend help me out with a cut. And since then our salons have now opened. So in about a week and a half, I'm gonna get to go visit my stylist in her salon. So I'm so excited for that. So many of you have a freshly cut hair and are requesting help and maybe reminders of how to style your pixie cut. So mine is currently in the undercut pixie. So I'm gonna be showing you how I style that. I'm gonna be showing you most of my normal products, but maybe one new one that I've incorporated in. As always, if you're new here, special welcome to you. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And now let's get started with this tutorial. Oh, that towel was so heavy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start just by roughly combing through my hair. Now, as always, when I use these products in my hair, you don't have to use them all. Just pick and choose the ones that correlate with the issues that you're trying to resolve. So this new product that I've been using, I actually used up a whole deluxe size sample of this. This is the Redken 25 Benefits all-in-one multi-benefit treatment. So there's 25 benefits, including it gives a little extra conditioning and some heat protection. So. I really have enjoyed this when my hair is freshly bleached and or dry. So I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of this through the hair. If you have super fine hair, you can actually apply this as your conditioner and then rinse it out. So lots of good benefits, really love it, and it smells nice too. All right, then I am going to add just a little bit of the Acure Argon Oil for me. Nothing else gives me quite the shine that this does. And it also adds a little extra heat protection. And then I'm going to my old favorite, the Catwalk Root Boost. And I'm only going to put this right here at the crown and then a little bit here along the part. So right here where I have a cowlick, and just want a little extra lift and hold as I hair dry my hair. And then right here. And then I do sometimes put a little bit right here where I have another cowlick. And again, this adds a little bit of texture and hold while I'm blow drying. Okay, so now it's time to blow dry the hair. And I'm going to blow dry it on the side that it is cut to go on, but I am going to, instead of doing a super deep part like I normally do, I'm gonna change that up for you here today. And as we get into it, I will just show you um, my undercut right now is up a little bit higher, so it's above my temple area, just slightly on the left side. And then the uh, right side is maybe even just slightly higher. And so what that did is it took out all of the extra bulk that I had because I have such thick hair. So that's just a little glimpse before we get to blow drying. <music>
so all of that blow drying and my hair is still a little bit damp right here, but that's okay. We're just gonna work with it. All right, I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and I have this at about three, what do I have it at? 350 right now. And I'm just going to right here on the part, I'm kind of bringing this forward a little bit. And then just kind of my usual, gonna bring this the sides down. This is where you can really see how much my hair has grown. I always notice it first in the bangs right there. But, and then I'm just gonna take this through the sides here. And you saw that I'm just kind of pulling this up. And because we have that root spray right here, it kind of gives a little added lift when we go through with the flat iron. A little bit here in the front. And I'm just trying to break up this kind of long section. This is a little heavy. I might have her thin that out when I go my salon visit. All right, that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna go in with the product that just makes it all come together. This is the Enjoy Dry Wax. Um, I just completed a test of several of your favorite hair pomades, so stay tuned for that. I'll be sharing my thoughts, but this, okay, so um, it's been warmer weather here, so mine has gotten a little bit softer, but just as a reminder, it is pretty hard. You just need to scrape off the surface or go in with your blow dryer and just scrape off an amount that's about like that, and you're going to work it into your hands up towards your fingertips more so. And it's okay to have a little bit on your palms, but you really want a lot more of the product towards your fingertips. And you're gonna work it in till there's no chunks or anything. The great thing about this is it's not drying on my hands right now. It's staying flexible. So now I can just distribute a little bit throughout my hair and then go back and place the pieces of texture where I want them. So just using the rest that's on my hands. And I just pinch these groups of hair together here. And then here on the sides, if you feel like you need a little more lift, you can just take what's left on your fingertips and scrub kind of into the roots and it just adds it's almost like you ratted your hair right there, but it gives it a little bit of extra lift there. And because that wax has such good hold, it will help hold that volume. Okay, and then what I like to do, just to show off the fact that I have an undercut pixie, and especially as it's starting to grow out longer here, I'll just kind of comb some of those pieces a little bit forward so it kind of shows that undercut part a little more. And I know quite frequently I will spike the back, but today I'm not. I know some of you don't like it spiked. So um, you can see I just added a little bit of fullness there, but you can see kind of the, the texture of that layer that lays over the undercut part there. And now we're just ready for some hairspray. And I'm using my old favorite, the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. And we're just gonna go through and set the style. All right, and here is our finished look. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video or check the description box below for my Facebook page, I will have still shots of each angle of my hair today. I know that several of you have not had a pixie cut before, so hopefully this has given you an idea of how easy it is to style and might inspire you to take that leap. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.